the most hated characters in Naruto. Now, let me start off by saying that this list doesn't necessarily mean that we're talking about the worst characters in the Naruto series, though it may correlate to some degree. It's just that these characters have things going towards them that make them disliked more in comparison to some other characters in the show. It can range from things like their personality to certain things that they've done, but the point is that whatever it is that they have against them makes them into being one of the most hated characters in a series full of outstanding ones. One of the most hated characters in all of anime in general is Sakura. This should come as no surprise if you've been a fan of the series since the the beginning. Ever since we first came across her, there was no reason to like her. One of her earliest standout moments in the show is her downplaying Naruto by calling him an orphan while saying this to another orphan. That's devious work no one person should commit. It also doesn't help that earlier on in the story, she hardly contributes to anything of note for her team. She's mainly focused on wanting to be with Sasuke throughout the majority of part 1, even though that had no real benefit on her or the plot. It could be somewhat excused if she was actually putting an effort in her ninja training, making her a worthy ninja to follow, but we don't really get that until the second half of the Naruto story in Shippuden. And I do want to say that I disassociate the word useless for her character, at least from part 2 going forward, as she stepped up her game in contributing to the ninja world by fighting off against the Akatsuki and healing people with medical ninjutsu. But during this, one of her most defining moments as a character was her fake love confession towards Naruto, which contributed in Naruto getting into a panic attack, especially when Naruto found out it was all a ruse to have Sakura be okay with killing Sasuke. No doubt in my mind that majority of you more so hate Sakura more than like anything she has to offer. Tenten being on this list shouldn't surprise most of you, as she's just just not a character that's worthy of being in the Naruto story. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way, but she is a character that truly has no value towards her. A large part in that has to do with the fact that she doesn't have enough screen time to warrant her being in the show at all. She's a master of weapons, which is an awesome premise, but the series didn't do her justice in that. She barely had any major fights or development, and when she did show up, it was usually just to throw a few weapons around. Even in Shippuden, where a lot of the characters seemed to get a moment to show off, Tenten was left in the background. It's like she was designed to be forgotten, which is a real shame considering the potential she had. So her being hated is more so due to her not being relevant throughout the show as opposed to anything she generally does. But in a story filled with an interesting cast, you better bring your A game if you want to stand above the rest. And I'd say to you who's watching that you stand above the rest when you hit the like button for this video. While you're at it, be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more Naruto content just like this. You won't regret it. Now even though I personally like Donzo, I can totally see why people hate his character. Donzo was a puppet master in the shadows, making shady deals and pulling strings that led to some of the worst events in the series. He's the guy you love to hate. But the problem with Donzo is that his motivation often feels one dimensional and hypocritical. He talks a big game about protecting the Leaf Village, but all he does is cause more harm. Whether it's wiping out the Uchiha clan, or or trying to seize power for himself. His character is a walking contradiction, and when he finally faced Sasuke, his defeat felt more like a relief than an epic moment. If more people saw him as a villain as opposed to being a hero for the Leaf Village, then maybe he'd be better received as a character. But at the end of the day, him wanting to do things quote unquote for the protection of the village is a wild statement for him considering all the terrible acts he does. Kiba is a character that has a whole lot of bark and not enough bite. Don't get me wrong, Kiba's introduction had us all thinking he was going to be a major player. He's got the whole animal partner thing going, he's fiercely loyal, and he's got a big personality. But as the series progressed, Kiba kinda got left in the dust. His rivalry with Naruto was cool, but it never really evolved into something meaningful. And let's face it, he became more comic relief than a serious ninja. Kiba had potential, but in the end, he's mostly remembered for... well, not a whole lot. Except maybe when he lost against Naruto in the tuning exams where he lost due to his... um senses being removed. He's low-key the male version of Tenten in the show, except that when he does show up on screen, it's for us to wanting to punch his stupid face for not contributing to the conversation, except for barking bullcrap towards others, especially Naruto. Definitely a character that I don't see much love towards. Yeah, you knew this was coming. Kaguya was supposed to be the ultimate villain, the progenitor of all chakra, the final boss. But instead of being an epic conclusion, her introduction felt like it came out of nowhere. Madara was built up as the big bad for so long, only for Kaguya to soup up in the last minute and steal the spotlight. Her motivation were vague, her personality was flat, and her defeat was unsatisfying. Kaguya could have been a fascinating character if she had been given more time to develop, but instead, she just felt like a plot device thrown in the last second. Now I will say though that while I understand why she is hated, I have to point out that this is more so due to the story not giving enough time or spotlight to suggest her inclusion was bound to happen. Again, her concept was cool, but it came at the very end of the series where we already established the status quo, but then gets shifted and sparks a new series in relation to that. I'd more so blame the writing than her actual character as to why she is hated, but that doesn't mean that the hatred isn't justified. It would have been better off for her not to have been in the story, but it is what it is. At least we got Boruto out of it. 
take that what you will. The Naruto series carries a lot of weight when it comes to the characters, since a lot of them have managed to have a positive impact in the story and for us as watchers of the show. So it's really impressive that I could cherry pick a few who stand out as some of the most hated characters, given that there's a lot to like about the cast of Naruto. That being said, I want to pass the question out to y'all. Which character do you hate the most in Naruto? Is it someone I already mentioned, or do you have another person in mind? I'd love to get y'all's thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click the card you see here, which will take you to my video on me going into further detail about Tenten and how she is a useless character in the story. I'm the Curly Hero Kage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.